A Course in Miracles, Text, Chapter 3, Retraining the Mind, Section 2, Special Principles for Miracle Workers. 1. The miracle abolishes the need for lower order concerns. Since it is an out of pattern time interval, the ordinary considerations of time and space do not apply. When you perform a miracle, I will arrange both time and space to adjust to it. 2. Clear distinction between what has been created and what is being created is essential. All forms of correction or healing rest on this fundamental correction in level perception. 3. Another way of stating the above point is never confuse right with wrong-mindedness. Responding to any form of miscreation with anything except a desire to heal or a miracle is an expression of this confusion. 4. The miracle is always a denial of this error and an affirmation of the truth. Only right-mindedness can create in a way that has any real effect. Pragmatically, what has no real effect has no real existence. Its effect, then, is emptiness. Being without substantial content, it lends itself to projection in the improper sense. 5. The level adjustment power of the miracle induces the right perception for healing. Until this has occurred, healing cannot be understood. Forgiveness is an empty gesture unless it entails correction. Without this, it is essentially judgmental rather than healing. 6. Miraculous forgiveness is only correction. It has no element of judgment at all. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do, in no way evaluates what they do. It is strictly limited to an appeal to God to heal their minds. There is no reference to the outcome of their misthought. That does not matter. 7. The biblical injunction, be of one mind, is the statement for revelation readiness. My own injunction, do this in remembrance of me, is the request for cooperation from miracle workers. It should be noted that the two statements are not in the same order of reality. The latter involves a time awareness, since to remember implies recalling the past in the present. Time is under my direction, but timelessness belongs to God alone. In time we exist for and with each other, in timelessness, we coexist with God.